to the show. Uh, we are doing a fun one. I am actually very, very excited about this build for a couple of reasons. I think this is gonna be one of those builds that people love to replicate. It's just, it's got a great price. It's gonna be very powerful. We're gonna show all that off today. So not only we're we gonna build the PC, we're also gonna benchmark it. So here is the build that we're building today. We're doing the Ryzen 7 7700. It's an MSI MPG B650 Edge Wi-Fi. We got the MSI Gaming GeForce RTX 4070 Ti. This is the White Gaming X Trio. A WD Black SN 772 terabyte NVMe SSD. The Team Force T Delta RGB 64 gigs, 64 gigs. Now you could drop down to 32 gigs and even save a little bit of money here, uh, but this was a specific request for a commission. The case is the NZXT H7 Elite in white, and then we got the NZXT T120 white, and the Thermaltake GF1 Snow 850. The other thing too is that we've also added is cable mod extensions and uh, Asia Horse cable, so this should be a, this is going to be a stunning look at, looking build when we are all said and done. Okay, here we go guys, there is no, VRM thing here, but we will, we can go ahead and do, let's do 97 for the clicks. Whoa, whoa, that one jumped, that, whoa, that jumped so far. Wow, that was like, that actually hit me. That thing was like crazy, it was like a rocket. Okay, let's get ready for our clicks. 97, first, first attempt. Whoa, that was a super solid click, but only 95. Did you guys hear how good that was? That was a really good click. 98.1, boom. Okay, getting ready to put our cooler on. Okay, we are in good shape. Okay, this is the part where I gotta go slow. Use the world's longest screwdriver. Cables are done and hidden. Okay, so motherboard done. Time to strip the case. Here we go, guys. It's just the internal one. It's a little bit clearer now. This comes off, there we go. There we go, case is stripped. Oh, here we go. I just love how clean this already starts to look right away. Look at already, look at just, oh, so pretty. Yeah, they did a really good job here with the cable management. Beautiful, I love it. I love it when they do this. I, I you know, I used to not like them as much and I'm a bigger fan when the, uh, the USB 3.2 is right here on the side, because especially in these cases, this fits so beautifully. So what we're doing is we're just plugging the other fan. It'll be a little bit easier. So here's the top down view, just so you guys can see it. Now for cable management, what you're just trying to do is to make cables seem as seamless and controlled as possible. There we go, guys, nice and clean. Okay, let's throw our cable extensions in real quick. Now comes the fun part, guys. You guys ready? I'm very excited to see what this looks like in person. Whoa. Yeah, this card is beautiful. Oh, interesting. It's almost like I have to go in a different, different way. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. Okay, we're gonna have to remove the air cooler. <laughs> yeah, exactly, sometimes you have to improvise with PC building. Let's make sure this fits. Yeah, uh, that's not gonna fit. You can't vertically mount this, and an AIO would be a big jump in price. So what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna take down the, we're gonna take off the vert mount and switch to put the air cooler back on, so. It's still gonna look great the other way with horizontal mount. See, that looks really good. Let's get our cable done. There we go guys, that's what the build looks like. Thus far, looking nice and clean. Time to throw the PSU in and we're done. Now comes the fun part. Okay, there we go guys, build is done. Looks good, very, very simple. So let's go ahead and get the back on and start re-putting this back together. 
there we go. Build is completed. It's time, guys. Okay, here we go. There it is. Lit up like a champ. Oh wow, that MSI looks really good. That is a beautiful card. Let's get to the fun part of benchmarking now. Okay, here we go. See how this does. So here we are right now, pack temperatures in the 40s. That's about as warm as it's gonna get right there. And we obviously don't have anything to worry about here. Let's take a look at gaming. We always like to start with some Cyberpunk 2077, so we'll test 1440p. This is again with a 4070 Ti and a Ryzen 7 7700. So this is just ultra ray tracing for uh, 1440p. You can see the RTX 4070 Ti sitting at 65, the Ryzen 7 7700 sitting at 53. Uh, DLSS will get, yes, give higher, yes, for sure. Okay, so let's throw DLSS on now. So we jumped up to 90 frames per second. This is frame generation on, so 140 plus frames per second with frame generation. All right, so next up, let's check out Call of Duty. So this is just native 1440p optimizing for frame rate. So 881 frames per second. This is what you would do if you wanted more frames. Pretty massive jump up to 247 frames per second. So we'll set it to ultra settings. Again, temps in the 60s on the Ryzen. Temps in the 50s and 60s for the MSI. And you're looking at 193 frames per second. So as you can see, the system's pretty dang good at playing uh, Call of Duty if you really wanted to. Okay, so let's check out a new game. And that would be uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So here we go, we'll fly Everest. So this is raw, no DLSS, raw 1440p gameplay. God, this game looks so incredible. Okay, let's go to frame generation, DLSS performance. This is just DLSS. Wow, that smoothed out significantly. Oh God, oh, I barely made it. Okay, so it's 84 frames per second right now. Now let's throw on, this is with frame generation now. 161 frames per second right there. There it is, yeah, almost double the frames per second. It is definitely way smoother. We can try New York real quick if you guys wanna see it. Oh! Ah. <laughs> I tried, okay. Yeah, I got, the, I got the throttle down, it's just going, yeah, I was just, yeah, I should not use the force, I was terrible. Okay guys, well, I think you guys got a good idea of how this thing performs. We showed it in Flight Sim, we showed it in Call of Duty, we showed it in Cyberpunk 2077. So there it is guys, that is the build. Anyway guys, that is it for me tonight. Super appreciate everybody hanging out. Have a great night and we will see you guys on the next episode. Bye guys.